An organization meant to help children and adults across the state is now at the center of what officials are calling a massive embezzlement scheme. A Camden mother and her two daughters have now been charged with the crime. News Channel 5's Cuthbert Langley has more tonight, all new at 630. This rural home in Benton County looks innocent, but investigators say what was going on inside was anything but. $732,000 of unauthorized disbursements. Vivian Parker and her two daughters run the ABC Nutrition Program, which takes federal grant money and sends out that money to nearly 350 child and adult care centers across the state. Investigators say between October 2008 and September of last year, Parker, Lisa Carter and Tracy Cody kept hundreds of thousands of dollars for themselves. It is massive and I think the, the bottom line is, is uh, this group of people uh, found a, a way to uh, get around the system and nobody was looking. The investigation uncovered the mother-daughter trio allegedly gave themselves nearly $600,000 in bonuses and nearly $30,000 went to renovating Parker's home, including this deck. Well, the biggest question is how did this happen for six years? What's y'all's sure. response to that? Our response is, is we didn't see oversight of the of the program, but I would ask you to ask them. So I did. The Department of Human Services says, quote, did not allow DHS sufficient time to review the issue and develop a more detailed response. This afternoon, I went to the home where the nutrition program operates. While cars were in the parking lot and UPS packages were being delivered and brought inside, no one answered the door. Thank you for calling the ABC Nutrition Program. I did get someone at the office by phone who says their attorney has told them not to speak with me. While the lasting effects of this scheme on adult and child care centers like the Joyland Center in Camden have yet to be determined, investigators do say all three women have been cooperating. Now Vivian Parker and her two daughters have been indicted by a grand jury for this alleged embezzlement, facing serious charges of theft of property over $250,000 and theft of property over $60,000. In Benton County this evening, I'm Cuthbert Langley, News Channel 5 HD. The Department of Human Services said they will participate throughout the entire legal process.